Welcome to another episode of Black Ice. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Read the description box. You have links to how to get a hold of me. Uh, make sure you turn on that notification indicator and make sure you subscribe. There's a lot of you watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Don't worry, you won't get in trouble. Uh, I'm going to talk about this topic. Uh, a lot of people have asked this in the last couple of weeks. What is a high-valued man? I see a lot of women in particular when I'm talking about high-valued women and they want to know what a high-valued man is. So let me talk a little bit about that topic. Um, and it's, it's based on what I see in the market and what I see women that are attracted to. And I call them high value men. They're the top 1%, 2% guys in, in America. So number one, their income is gonna be very high. And when I say that, it used to be the standard of, of six figures, 100K. 100K isn't shit anymore. It's, it's irrelevant. Based on this current economy and the recession, no matter how you spin it, we are in a recession, okay? And inflation is an 8.6, 8.9, it's like 23%. If you look at how much groceries went up, bottom line. The minimum amount of a high value guy in today's market is 250 grand a year of income. Uh, and I would say gross, gross income, annual income. Um, the other thing with a high value man is they're gonna have a big net worth. They're gonna have multiple uh, houses probably properties that they own. They're going to have different investments into companies, uh, different product lines, stock market, etc. That's that's part of what a high value man is. Uh, the other thing is they're going to have a huge association of a uh, network of people with influence of power, people that have done something or made an impact in the community, either through organizations or businesses. Okay. So that means that their, their friends and colleagues either own businesses or run businesses. Uh, very few of them are high up in a business unless they're a president or CEO of a corporation, maybe a publicly traded company. Uh, the other part, again, added to that would be high value man isn't a nine to fiver. This is somebody that doesn't go to a job and comes home unless they're an executive at a company that's doing pretty good on the stock market. I mean, you know, if you say, well, his salary is 150K as an executive, he's not really high valued. Um, I, again, 250K, they probably run a business. They might have multiple companies, multiple investments, high, high revenue stream. And the other part of this is they have multiple revenue streams, not just one. They have multiple revenue streams. The average revenue stream for a multimillionaire is seven different revenue streams. Now, I don't know how factual that is. I know a lot of millionaires that have four, five, maybe three, but seven's a lot. Um, and I don't know how they categorize those seven. Maybe some of that is from stock. Uh, some of that is from houses, equity. I don't know. But at the end of the day, they got multiple revenue streams. Okay. And <clears throat> their access to high value women percentages is high. You'll never see them with a low valued woman. And we've already went through what a high valued woman is. So if you don't know what that is, look at the other podcast videos. And that'll answer your questions. I don't want to have to repeat it over and over again, okay? Um, and that's just a good example of what a high-value man is. And on the other side of it, they're a gentleman, right? Uh, they, 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 they are kind to women. Uh, they lead the household. They, they're the head of the household, okay? These guys have no problem telling a beautiful, attractive woman, no. And in the fear of losing that woman, they know that at any given moment, they can go out and find another high-valued woman. That is a high-valued man. Um, and so I hope that makes sense. Stay tuned for more.